The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who needed a home. They needed the home to keep them safe from the big bad wolf. They walked down the road one day looking for materials to, buy, to build their homes. The first pig came upon a man who was collecting straw. And he said, hey, sir, can I have some straw to build my home to keep me safe from the big bad wolf? And the man said, yes, take the straw, build your home. The second pig came upon a man in the forest and said, sir, can I have some wood and some sticks so I might build a home strong enough to keep me safe from the big bad wolf? And the man said, yes, take some wood, build your home, stay safe from the big bad wolf. The third pig came upon a man collecting stones and working with bricks. And he said, sir, may I please have some brick and stone so that I might build a good strong home to keep me safe from the big bad wolf? And the third man said, yes, absolutely. Take some stone and some brick, build your home. Well, the next day, the big bad wolf came to town and he came to the house made of straw and he said, hey, little pig, let me in. And the little pig said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the big bad wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And that's just what he did. And he knocked over the house of straw and he ate that little piggy up. But that wasn't enough for him. He's the big bad wolf. And he continued down the road till he came to the house made of, of wood. And he said, hey, little piggy, let me in. And the second piggy said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the big bad wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <sighs> and that's just what he did. And the big bad wolf knocked over the house made of wood and sticks and he ate the little piggy up. You know, he was feeling very good about himself, that big old bad wolf. So he continued down the road till he came to the house made of brick and stone. And he knocked on the door and he said, listen here, little pig, you let me in. And the third little pig said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the wolf, feeling very full of himself, said, then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house in. <sighs> but nothing happened. And he did it again. <sighs> and nothing happened again. So he tried to talk the pig into being coming his friend. Mr. Pig, 